Hello lovely friends, welcome back. Today I'll share with you how to make oregano oil at home. It's been used since ancient Greek and Roman civilization for medicinal purposes and has been gaining popularity these days because of its mind-blowing health benefits. It's a natural antibiotic, has antioxidants rich in antifungal and anti-inflammatory properties and has a host of other benefits. So stick with me to the very end as I also share the benefits of this powerful oil you will need a handful of fresh oregano leaves if you can get fresh dried works perfectly wash off any dirt here i'm using organic from my garden if you can get organic you can use store-bought but ensure to wash it with salt or vinegar to get rid of pesticide pick off the leaves from the stems and then you discard the stems Oregano is rich in carbocol, thymol, and rosmarinic acid. These are the compounds that make this herb powerful and beneficial to our health. Now go ahead and dry off the water from the leaves. We don't want any water so that our oil will not go rancid. You can use a paper towel or just air dry it. Leaves are dried now. I'll go ahead and mince it with a knife. I'll mince it so that the leaves release all its essential oils in the carrier oil later. Oregano leaves is rich in phenol, which is a natural antibacterial, and it has been shown to stop the growth of several types of bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus and E. coli and a host of others. Thymol is a natural antifungal that is found in oregano leaves as well and it could, it could treat yeast infections like Candida. Use a sterilized jar, pour in your minced oregano leaves. Oregano oil may also help in gut health by killing gut parasites and protecting against leaky gut syndrome. Rosmarinic acid is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect against damage caused by free radicals and has a higher content of antioxidant than most fruits and vegetables. Now I've just added my extra virgin olive oil. That is about three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Shake to combine and we're going to allow this to infuse for about two weeks, shaking every other day. This is after two days. And this is after two weeks. The oil is darker in color and the leaves have released all its essential oils. Now we use a strainer and strain it. Carbacol helps in reducing inflammation, which is the cause of certain health conditions or diseases. Oregano oil also has anti-cancer fighting properties because of carbacol present in it. Now press lightly to extract all the oil present in the leaves. Other benefits of oregano oil includes it has pain killing properties. It could help in healing wounds and repelling insects. This should not be confused with oregano essential oil as oregano essential oil is a concentrated form from the dried leaves and shoots and should not be taken or applied directly but diluted in a carrier oil. Transfer your oil into your bottles. Here I'm using a transparent bottle so that you'll see how the color has really changed. It is best to store your oil in a dark bottle and in a dark and cool place and this oil can last for up to three months. And how do you use this oil? You can pour a few drops into eight ounce of water and drink or you can apply it on your skin topically. I hope you do give this recipe a try because it is easy, cheaper and very effective. If you've enjoyed watching this video this far and you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel and if you haven't subscribed, kindly join the family and turn on your bell for post notifications because I make detailed videos like this for your overall well-being. Remain blessed. I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye.